There's a lot of different types of scroll saw blades and I just want to give you a quick rundown of what some of those are and this is a subject that you really don't need to get into when you're first getting started. Uh, it's it's a more of an, uh, an advanced topic, uh, but it doesn't hurt to have a little idea of what's going on. This particular demonstration blade right here would be a standard blade. All the teeth are pointed in the, right, in the down direction. Again, like we just talked about, this would be a scroll reverse blade because some of the teeth are pointed down and some of the teeth are pointed up. This third blade that I have modeled here would be called a skip tooth blade. And that's just simply because as you see, you've got a tooth, then a very large gullet or a skipped tooth, another tooth, a skipped tooth, and another tooth. And a skip tooth blade is a much more aggressive blade. Uh, it has the ability to remove more dust or wood on every stroke. And like we talked about earlier, that's because the kerf can actually hold more dust and remove it more efficiently. So it makes for a much more aggressive blade and has a tendency to allow you to cut denser and harder woods. There's also many, many more types of blades that you're going to run into. There's crown tooth blades, there's spiral blades, uh, different types of uh, metal and plastic blades, and all those can be experimented with after you uh, get a little more seasoning under your belt with your scroll saw. But just to finish this up, I want to give you an idea of what I generally tell people when they're getting started of what they need to get started. If you want to do the types of projects that you see on my website, which are generally basic to intermediate type patterns, which are all good to get started with, I suggest that you buy a very small selection of blades. Buy a decent supply of number five scroll reverse blades. And again, these are the blades that have the teeth running up and down. Uh, and I would buy, as far as size go, I would buy number threes, number fives, and number sevens. I probably use the uh, Flying Dutchman scroll reverse number five and maybe the number three for 90% of the projects I cut. So right there, I'm giving you the ability to get started on almost every project you're gonna make as a new scroller with three different blades, okay? I keep very few skip tooth blades because I don't cut a lot of very dense or very thick material. And I don't use very many uh, standard blades because again, I prefer the reverse teeth because it just cuts down on the amount of sanding I have to do. There are exceptions to what I just said though. If you're getting started into scrolling because you want to cut portrait style patterns and those are the patterns that you see where uh, either a landscape, uh, automobile, or a person's face has been cut out of a piece of plywood and you see through those cuttings. Most portrait cutters use spiral teeth blades. And I don't have a demonstration of a spiral tooth blade that I can show you, but basically what it is, it's a blade that can cut in any direction uh, without having to turn the workpiece. Uh, the t the uh, cutting surface of the spiral blade is just like it says, it's spiraled. And uh, when you push your wood through the blade, you can push it in any direction and the blade will cut. Whereas with all these standard blades, you have to, to change the direction of the cut, you actually have to turn the wood because the blade's going to stay cutting in the same direction all the time. So if you're going to cut portrait patterns, then you will need some spiral blades. Another exception is if you plan to cut either metal, uh, plastic, or glass, you're going to need specialty blades for uh, all those different types of materials and you'll want to do your research into that type of blade. The designation uh, is very similar for those blades except for the spiral blades. Uh, so once you digest this material we just talked about, you shouldn't have any trouble picking those out. I hope this video on scroll saw blades is helpful to you as a new scroller selecting your scroll saw blades. Um, again, don't make it a complicated subject because it doesn't need to be. Even though there's a lot of uh, different types, makes of blades out there, uh, it basically comes down to those very few numbers that we just talked about. And 
like I've told you already, I probably use the number three and the number five blade for 90% um, of the work I do. Uh, so uh, again, don't make it complicated. As you become more proficient on your saw, try other blades. You know, order a small quantity of them and see what you think about them. And you will very quickly uh, become proficient in the type of blade you want to use for a particular project. You'll have your preferences, and your preferences may very well not be uh, what all the so-called uh, master scrollers out there tell you you need to use for a project. So again, I hope this is helpful, and we'll move on to the next topic.